Hey there, Fletcher from All Things Overlanding here. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about these Nylite LED car atmosphere lights. Uh, my use of these is actually gonna be a little bit unique. I'm not looking to like, you know, make my car into a, an LED Fast and Furious type of vehicle. What I'm gonna use these for is actually related to overlanding and camping. So these have RGB controls in them. They have a little remote control that comes with them. It's actually really nice. Um, but what I'm gonna use it for is the red light so that it doesn't sap my night vision, but I can still see stuff in my truck. So if I need to come grab a piece of gear out of my truck or do something in my truck, I can turn these on independently. I'm gonna have them wired so they're always able to be turned on. Um, so I'm gonna show you what comes in the box. I'm gonna show you how I'm installing them, kind of where I'm running everything. So if you have a Nissan Frontier, this will be extremely applicable to you, but it should be universal enough that no matter what kind of vehicle you have, you should still get some good information about how easy these are to install. Um, so again, if you wanna learn more about this, this system, it's actually really inexpensive. If you're looking for a way to get some lights inside of the cab of your vehicle really easily with basically one single 12 volt, this would be a good option for you. So stay tuned and we'll get into it. All right, so talking about the Nylite LED car atmosphere lights uh, system, what you get is you get these install instructions, which I will say, you know, I mean, I've installed a lot of miscellaneous lights. These are actually really good. So they do have step-by-step -step exactly what you need to do. It kind of gives you some tips and tricks for how to install this stuff. So it's actually, they're pretty nice. Um, they've got, you know, product features and sort of specs of the lights on the front, which is nice. You get a handful of zip ties with the package too. So for, you know, sticking some wires up to kind of hide them behind your dash, if that's where you're gonna be running them, um, you do get those. You also get this plug with an on off button on the top of it. So you could manually disable the system if you wanted to. Um, what I'm probably gonna do is, cause there's sort of a proprietary plug that plugs into the controller for the RGB. Um, probably gonna snip off the DC 12 volt and just hardwire it. So again, it has full time power to it so that I can just control it with the on off switch. Now, if you're doing that, you do wanna be a little bit careful because if you accidentally left them on, you could kill your battery. Uh, in my system, in my truck, we're actually in the process right now while I'm recording this video of installing a Red Arc system with a smart controller that will notify me if something's pulling power. So hopefully prevent me from having an overrun or a, you know killing my battery. But that's why I'm gonna wire it in. But again, you could just very easily plug this into a 12 volt and then plug it into the, the top of this controller. This goes into there and uh, you're done. So in my truck, I do have the, the whole dash apart right now. So I'm gonna hide this controller back behind the dash and just sort of have this little infrared controller stick up out of the top of the dash so that it can pretty much be accessed by that remote. Wherever I am in the truck or near the truck, I should be able to hit this little remote. But this piece here is actually what you need to point your remote at to make it change colors or brightness or whatever. Um, so this is the controller piece. It does have a little hole in it so you could use a screw or something to mount it, again, up under your dash or wherever you're gonna hide it. Again, my plan is put this behind the stereo basically with the controller sticking up out of the uh, top of the dash so I can control it really easily. Then you get these pretty long wires. I'd say they're probably four or five feet long wires with four LED strips with adhesive on the back. So they are already got adhesive. Um, one tip that I would give you, and it actually does mention it in the, the instructions here, um, is once you get these stuck up where you want them to go, hit them with a heat gun really quick. Just heat them up. It'll make this, the, the tape a little bit more viscous and make it stick better. Make sure you clean the surface really well. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna attach two of these to the A pillar in the truck up here so that they kind of cast the light out into the, the actual cab of the truck. And then the other two, because the wires are just a little bit short, they're not gonna reach to the back of the truck, which is where I would love to get them. Um, I'm gonna put those underneath in the wheel wells. So again, if I've got a backpack or gear sitting down on the floorboards, I'll be able to see that. And then the ones up here on the A pillars will also give me more light into the cab. But again, you could do multi-colors with this. You could do all kinds of stuff. You know, I think most people would probably put them like under their dash and maybe on like a door or, or underneath of a seat or something like that. Like you could do that. Again, mine is just to use the red setting basically for night vision to be able to get into the truck, find gear, that's it. Um, so, but that's basically what comes with the kit. So now I'm gonna install it. Again, I'm probably not gonna make this a super long video because it's very straightforward and it's gonna depend on your application. But um, if you just wanna plug this into a 12 volt source, plug this into the controller, it's gotta be close enough for that because the cord's only maybe a foot, foot and a half long. And then you got to have your, your infrared thing sticking out somewhere where you can actually point the remote at it and control it. And then you can just run your wires and hide them however you want. Again, mine are mostly going to go through my dash and up the side pillars. 
And then again, under the dash, I'm gonna zip tie everything up so that no wires are hanging down and, and that's pretty much it. So next I will show you kind of what these look like and sort of the end result. All right guys, so I did wanna let it get kind of dark because I wanna show you what these Nylite LED strips are like from a interior lighting standpoint. So again, I have them set to red. These are RGB light strips, so you can turn them to different colors and stuff. There are actually some cool features that you can do if you wanted to use these as like, you know, under dash lighting and that sort of thing. Again, my intention with these is just to use them for like when it's nighttime and I don't want bugs to come into my truck too much and I, I don't want to shoot my night vision, but I want to be able to see where things are. So as you can see, the remote is up there. Actually, the, the infrared controller, this is the remote right here. But so then when I turn this on, you can see, I mean, it's, they're just nice little strips of light. So I've got two up there on the pillars and then I've got one down on the floorboard up front. Um, I'm kind of considering maybe putting some of these in the rear too, but like, again, you can see how it lights up everything pretty well. So if I had anything up here in the front seat or down on the floorboards, which is mostly where my stuff sits most of the time, um, you'd be able to see it. And again, I'm sitting in here with my eyes wide open. It's not blindingly bright or anything you can also dim the lights so you know you can see there I'm dimming them and then when it flashes white like that that means you've hit the max so like that's the most bright and then that's the dimmest so it's got quite a few settings for brightness. I'm obviously just gonna keep them on the most bright because I want them to be red and be the most bright. But again, I mean, they're RGB, right? So you could turn it to whatever you want. If you just want them to be white, you could do that. If you really wanted to be able to see everything in the truck, I mean, you can literally see everything on the floorboards, up here, pretty much throughout the cab. Now in the back, it is a little dark. So again, maybe I should add some in the back at some point but I personally just like them red because it's not super bright or obnoxious. So again, if you're at camp at night, um, they're really super low draw too. They don't draw much power. I do have these wired in constant 12 volt through my Red Arc system in the back. So again, I can monitor, you know, how much power is being used. So right now you can see these lights are drawing 0.2 amps, which is really nice. So it's a very super low draw. You can see my battery is really, really good, um, but it's not you know, if when it's the daytime and it's sunny out, I mean, these things, you could leave these things on forever and they would never even impact your battery. I mean, even at night, the draw is so low that it's not something to worry about. But so again, they're awesome, right? They just show tons of stuff inside of your vehicle. You can definitely see, you know, all around. So I'm a really big fan of these. I think these are a great addition for, you know, when I get to camp and want to be able to see in the truck, but don't want to shoot out my night vision or don't want to draw a bunch of bugs into the truck. So anyways, just wanted to show you guys what that looks like when it's dark outside and how well this thing lights up. All right guys, so that was the install of the Nylite car atmosphere lights. Again, these are super, super budget friendly, right? Like I think they're like 15, 20 bucks, like they're very inexpensive. So if you are like me and you have an older vehicle with sort of the terrible halogen lights, I've even upgraded to LED and they're still terrible. Like I can barely see inside the truck at night. This is a really good budget option to add a ton of additional lighting, right? And to give you the RGB, factor too so if you're looking to make your car neater on the inside cooler on the inside fine you can do that or if you're looking to just add additional light that you can change the color of for night vision reasons or whatever this is a great option too but again for the money to have an all-in-one system like this especially if you're not super mechanically inclined or electrically inclined and you just want to be able to plug something into a socket or a splitter this would be a great option for you. So I hope that stuff was helpful for you. If it was, make sure to click that like button. Uh, if you're not already, click the subscribe button. Click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do a couple videos a week, so usually like a gear review or an install video like this, do-it-yourself modifications type stuff. Um, and then I do like an overlanding type podcast or vlog every week, talking about something to do with camping, overlanding, vehicles, that kind of thing. Um, also in the description below are links to Facebook, Instagram, I've got a Patreon page, we've got a Discord for that, which is really cool. Um, there's a newbie overlanders group on Facebook, there's a link to down there too, totally free to join, but tons of people not judging each other, just helping each other um, if you're newer to overlanding. And even if you're not and you wanna come help, that's fine too, we'd love to have you. Um, if you have any questions about the install of these lights, feel free to post up in the comments. If you have any thoughts about it, I'd love to hear from you. Um, but again, thanks for watching, hope that was helpful, and we will see you guys next time.